I'll spread the cheese. Individual attention from getting off the bus in the morning. I love the shoes, the sparkly shoes. That's what Pace really looks at. Each child as an individual. Throughout the school day at Pace. And what do you want to do better this afternoon? This better afternoon, I would like to work hard and stay focused. We're a special education school. All of our teachers are fully certified. The level of individualized educational programming is higher than I think you could expect anywhere. Who are these children and why Pace? I like Pace. They are Dante Reed. Dante didn't know how to read. He didn't know how to even talk. And when he came to Pace, he started talking. They are Bobby Perry. He blossomed there. He was just thrilled to be there. He loved school. Pace School, where kids grow and prepare for life. I'd recommend Pace because your child will succeed here. I'm Karen Lamoureux, Chief Executive Officer of Pace School, and I invite you now to take a look around. The 12 sons, and they each started a tribe in Israel. We use a, a full curriculum, a really highly specialized evidence-based curriculum. The basics, math, science, and the rest. What is motion? I will start reading. But Pace goes far beyond the basics. Since its founding in 1967, Pace School programs in Churchill and Valencia now serve over 175 students from over 40 school districts. Pace School provides a safe, unique life experience for its chronically challenged kids. With small class sizes, a teacher and two staff members, including a therapist in each classroom, student-staff ratio is nearly two to one. The kids who come to Pace School are they have mental illnesses that can be very complex. Um, diagnoses including ADHD, depression, autism, spectrum disorders. There's a whole range. And the reason that they're here is because they really aren't able to function in their um, public school. So when they come, they are in need of um, intensive uh, either psychotherapy, depending on their age, medication management. And the difference being here is that these mental health professionals, including psychiatrists and social workers, are able to observe the child right within their classroom setting. So the place where it's most important for the child to function is the place where the professionals are able to observe them and really see what's going on with their behaviors over time. So over time, this staff is dedicated to making Pace kids grow stronger academically, emotionally. We provide tools for children to break through the social and emotional barriers to school success. Our kids, some of them travel up to an hour to get here, and the reason why they're doing that is because PACE has a unique blend of services that include both mental health, and when I say mental health, it's a full partial hospital program, so that we have a, a very high level of mental health care for kids who are significantly impaired with emotional disturbance or autism. Ian Ebbett is a PACE program focused therapist. They deal with a lot of acute behaviors and very difficult situations that come from whether they're on the school bus, at home, they arise throughout the day. Uh, and our role is to kind of help teach them those coping skills and emotions regulation techniques to better deal with their lives and situations. Probably the best caring staff that you could find at a school similar to this. The rapport that's developed here gets us leaps and bounds when working with the, with the students. This is built with Legos too? Yeah. Wow. Chris Wilson is one of the many in-classroom therapists. I think everyone has the same goal we're, where we want our children to get the most out of themselves. Pace has the ability to bring that out in each child because I think Everyone is on the same page in wanting them to succeed. How does PACE get the most out of every child? Consider its sanctuary model. Take a look at the sanctuary keys. Nonviolence, open communication, inquiry and social 
learning, emotional intelligence, sanctuary, an overall safe place to grow for kids who have likely experienced some sort of trauma in their lives. So that they have a safe place where they can learn to express their emotions, where they can learn to heal from their losses, where they can learn to look to the future and have hope. You're going to walk in and you're going to feel accepted and believed in and offered every possible opportunity to succeed. Because this unique school has psychologists and psychiatrists like Dr. Claire Cohen on staff every day providing psychiatric services. We have kids who have patterns of mental illness. Um, we have kids uh, who have been victims of abuse, who have witnessed violence. And I think oftentimes those things don't get addressed. And by trying to create an atmosphere that's what we call sanctuary, I think that that's what, one of the things that makes PACE All truly right, unique good. compared to the other school-based partial hospital programs. Part of sanctuary is community meetings. Each PACE student stops several Bobby, times a day to join the circle to talk openly about how they're doing and what they can do better. The community meeting, it sort of sets the tone for the day. Um, we discuss how we're feeling for the day, what our goals are, and how we want to achieve them. What would you like to do better? Stay in the classroom. 13-year-old Dante Reed couldn't communicate in his public school, but here at Pace, well, let him tell you himself. I like Pace because it's in high school and it makes you feel safe. And um, CF can help you how you're feeling. Pace was the best thing going. Dante's grandmother believes he felt like an outsider in public school, but at Pace, with sanctuary, with the safe environment, with kids having similar struggles, Dante is thriving. And when he came to Pace, he started talking. He started uh, getting along with others. He started <laughs> math. He's a whiz at it now. Um, his reading has improved. So they are learning to make friends. Hi, Joe. May I have some more drink, please? Excellent. That's great. Like learning to live in a home, to cook and, and set the table. And then they're also learning job skills through our World of Work program. And as they get older, our older kids are learning to transition and to start focusing on their, their vocational options when they leave PACE. What do you want for your child? Well, you want something like PACE school. PACE school board member Bob Gold should know. He came to PACE more than 40 years ago as a child. And now working in commercial real estate, his passion is to give back to PACE. Oh my gosh, it's given me everything. Um, uh, I don't know that I ever would have uh, gone back into uh, the public school system, would have ever been able to go to college, would have ever been able to um, be successful in life had I not been able to get past some of the uh, um, visual perception issues that I had, some of the attention deficit issues that I had. I've, I've been lucky, I mean really lucky that uh, but uh, I found PACE school. So are these kids and their families. I recommend PACE for other children. Um, it's done wonders for Bobby. Um, we can see the development, the positives. Take a look at our family fun night. We really encourage parents to be very actively involved in their child's treatment and education here. When you're supporting Pace School, what you are supporting is a child's future. What you're supporting is the highest possible quality of education because every child deserves that.